Uh, hi guys, uh, in today's video, we're going to be doing a uh, double end uh, identity equation. Uh, here are the double angles identities. Uh, sine 2x to sine cos blah blah cos blah blah. I think you should know these uh, identities before you solve this uh, kind of question, right? Uh, if you are given a question paper, this is how it looks like. You see here, yeah? here is our double angle identity, which we are going to be using today, right? Uh, our first question, as you can see, you prove, you prove this if it's equal to this, right? So you prove left hand side if it's equal to the right hand side. So let's start guys, okay? So you can change... Uh, uh, sine two x to be uh, sine two sine times cos x, right? Okay, so then you get uh, two sine x times cos x minus. Uh, you can change cos two x. But do you take back to Kenya now? Cost two x because unama uh, double x is the unama. Oh, I saw this much in this. I saw I saw this. I saw this. I saw this. I saw right? So the one I will question you. My boy, la, I found a solve the answer. So if we need, la, I found numero so we numerate numero so no one and we denominate numero so no one. Numero so no no cost x. So you put my character between the last new one. So I'll see a chicken last new one. No cos 2x minus sin x. So now 2 cos. So now 2 cos. 2 cos squared x minus 1. So now man, 1 minus 2 sin squared x. So we put my seven this other. Simple guys. Uh, let's take a. Uh, U2 cos sin x because man check cos now is anti now cos tapping hands I must go back solve the question it squares or cancel them up the cos law but it's very wise which I should create an entity for now the conjugates what it was about fast we exam normal we test right okay so now here I'm gonna choose a day speed a woman U2 cos Two cos squared x minus one, right? Okay. Oh, here's all over sine x. Here all over cos x, right? So now you need to solve. So she just go blank. She just lama double x is to go sine two x no cos no cos two x, right? So if you solve here. I'm gonna say sine times cos sine x times cos x, right? So if you say yo this one divided by this one, electric cos cos x and cos x minus x, and you get two two sine x times cos squared x minus and you say this one divided by this one cos cancel or oh, cos cancel cos x cos x cos x cos x then you're left with sine x so if you if you left with sine x you're gonna say and now you can simply say uh, here's our cos x times our cos x our oh, sine x I mean Okay, so we're gonna say sine sine times sine times cos x. So that gives us sine times cos x does give us two cos x squared times this one. And that give us sine x right times negative. Okay. Times times is negative and it's negative two cos squared x times 
sine x. Then now you say 1 times sine x gives us such so as sine x. But when you say uh, negative times negative, because you put bracket here, you're going to see what I'm solving. If you say negative times negative, you get positive. Right. Get positive sine x. So, as you can see here, um, 2 sine x times cos squared x is same as 2 cos, 2 cos squared x times sine x. Even in the Balenga corner, it's, it's not the same uh, format, but it's the same thing because cos, cos squared x, cos squared x, you can take these two and put it here still the same as this one so it's negative and this one positive so this one cancel each other then now you left with what you left with sine x and sine x and uh, cos x so sine times or oh, sine divided by sine left with one one then your answer is one cos x then you have proved this uh, equation, right? Equation. This is our final answer. Right. Simple. Uh, oh, yes, guys. Uh, let's move to the next question. Our next question is, is 1 minus cos 2x minus sine x all over sine 2x minus cos equal to 10. Tan x. So, guys, as we all know, that uh, tan x is tan tan x is equal to sine x all over cos x. So, if you solve here, must bear in mind that sine x is equal to cos x. So that if you if you look at the uh, double angles and identities, you'll be able to know which one to use, especially for cos 2x, right? Hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Uh, okay, so here we have two double angles, identities, which is two cos 2x and sine 2x, all right, which we need to change, okay? So here uh, one minus then cos two x. Remember what I said to you guys. And let's make sure that our in our denominator we left with sine x, and in our in our denominator I mean, and in our denominator we left with cos x. Right. So which one to choose in this three for cos two x? Industry given. So, so in this three, which one to use? So obviously the one that you need to use is you need to use the last one, this one. One minus two sine two sine squared x. Right. So if we left you this one, we know we have only sine x or sine in the numerator. In the numerator, right. Okay, let's do it. So it's going to say now, put the, don't forget to put the bracket. 1 minus 2 sine x squared here. Yeah, minus sine x. So for sine, for sine to x is simple because it's, this one is very simple. We have it right here. Okay, is it 2 sin x times cos x? 2 sin x times cos x minus cos x. Okay. So. Uh, okay. So what you need to do here, guys, is say this time this negative or negative this one here. Let's make it a 
rule. Uh, say negative times negative one is negative one. So we're gonna say negative times negative is gonna be negative one, and negative times negative is positive two sine squared x minus sine x all over two sine x cos cos x minus cos x. So this one cancel this one. Then here. Uh, then here we left with two sine squared x minus sine x so we take out so here we in the numerator we take out the common co common common what's the common what's the, what's the common here sine x so we're gonna say sine x we're gonna say sine x uh, then open the brackets so you know it's two sine x two sine x for this one minus for this one then you take out sine you say one because you say one times x you're gonna get yeah right minus oh not minus all over uh, 2 sine times cos squared, which one is, what is the common denominator here? Our common denominator here is cos x, right? So if you take out cos x, you're going to have a 2 sine x minus cos times 1, then you're going to have the 1. You're going to say this one times this one, you're going to get cos x minus cos x. So this two sine minus one and all over two sine the same. So cancel this one. So the numerator cancel the denominator. Then you left with sine x x all over cos x. So remember what I just said earlier on, guys. I said tan is equal to sine x all over cos x so now we have solved it so sine x all over tab all over cos x is equal to tan x and this is our final answer with that simple guys uh please in the we need a new video i'm Ezio, of which nala is on scissor call Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on my YouTube channel. Please, guys. Bye.